Hi folks, welcome. This is the quest, the Crucible. It's one of the walk-ups in Jan Holt. In the beginning here, you have a chance of using several uh, diplomacy, bluff, and intimidate checks to make uh, things easier for yourself. You can keep trying until you get it right. However, if you roll a 20 and still fail, then obviously there's not, not much point in trying. For example, I rolled a 19 and failed, so most likely 20 will fail as well here. Anyway, once you've done all you can, talk to the giant and get it started. You have to let the champions start first. The first part is the maze. You will need a hireling or a pet here to pull the levers for you. This is where you can find the first crest. I will go check and see if I can use it on this side. reason I do the breakables here is that uh, sometimes the pet or uh, hireling will get confused and start trying to break breakables or whatever. Uh, we wanted to only focus on the valve. Now make sure before you leave your hireling here, make sure that uh, everything up top is dead and nothing can kill it. Now select the valve.
this is where the second crest is. Now, uh, because the pet is right next to the valve, when I hit the use button, it should use it automatically. Sometimes, though, it might not work out that way. You can check on the minimap, I don't know if you can actually see it. Uh, but if you see the pet or hiling start move in a counterclockwise direction, it'll actually come here and try to use this uh, this socket here. If that happens, what you have to do is you have to click the use button when the hiling is on its way back or almost next to uh, almost back to the uh, valve. That will prompt it to use the valve instead of run up to the socket here. It can be a bit tricky, but once you get used to it, it's uh, it works almost every time. Anyway, we'll leave the pet here for now. Again, make sure all the mobs are dead before you call the pet. Now, there's a little trick if you have those owl bears that came with the expansion. Uh, you want to make sure you're already in here when you call to them. They'll teleport right on top of you and they will be in here. However, if you're outside, uh, they will not fit in here. So uh, you have to like call them while you're still in. Anyway, uh, select the valve again. Make your pet use it. You can try to keep the valve selected. However, when you pick up the uh, crest of the snake, usually it'll automatically get deselected, so... Ah, oh, there we go. You see it's trying to get to that socket on the other side. Let's try it again. There we go, now it worked. Now I need to go to that second socket and use the uh, crest there that I just got. There normally is uh, an archer above each of those uh, balls, so make sure you take those out. Now, if we time this next part right, 
the uh, pit, we'll only need to flip the lever once. When we tell it to uh, turn the valve, we want to head straight through and to the right. As soon as the door starts moving, we'll be able to go through it and then off to the right, thus uh, saving us the trouble of having to pull it again. This is what I mean. Before you do this part you basically have to make sure that you've uh, put the right crests in the other two sockets so that when you do this last one uh, the middle will open. As you can see a bunch of traps here. Uh, I'll try to show you how I do this when I am not on a trapper. Basically, there's going to be... the, the floor will break except for the middle here. However, you don't want to stand anywhere near the middle because uh, all these traps are gonna uh, shoot elemental damage at you uh, at the same time and that will most likely kill you, especially if you don't have a vision. So what I do is I try to get as far away as possible. So you see uh, it says that the Horn of Cunning is blocked. It's basically because we're uh, it's slightly higher than than me, than my character. So I can't pick it up from here. I actually have to stand on the uh, little platform here to pick it up. However this can be bypassed. What we need to do we need to get a little closer though. Uh, jump up and then on my way down hit the use button that way I won't be blocked and I can pick up the horn without actually standing in the middle and getting hit by all, by all those traps uh, however like I said the floor will break and I will fall into some spikes generally it's less painful than standing in the middle but it might get you killed on higher difficulties hopefully it won't anyway here it goes When you're down here, don't jump. Every time you jump, you'll force uh, a reflex uh, check that uh, might... Uh, for the traps, I mean. So you might actually get hit. Anyway, that was the maze part. We don't need the hardling anymore. Alright, this next part is trapped, so, uh, but it can be done without evasion. Make sure you have a decent jump, though. Now, before you go in and pick up the horn, make sure this door is closed. Otherwise, it can get uh, bugged if you pick up the horn before the door closes. 
what I do is I just pick it up and uh, run along to the exit. Normally I only get hit by the uh, these uh, dart traps here, but they don't do a whole lot of damage. You can save this shrine for later if you want to. But you will have to do uh, the run again. You can only open this gate from the inside, so to get back in there you have to enter through that first gate that we uh, did earlier. Clicking on the cobalt several times will start a conversation. Now it says it's a diplomacy check, but you don't actually roll a diplomacy uh, roll here, so my guess is that it always succeeds as long as you get him to talk. This part is the test of instinct. Basically, each time you click this book, uh, book, uh, it's going to tell you which door hides death. Now, if your wisdom is eight or lower, uh, it will tell you the right door that you need to open. However, if it's higher than that, it'll most likely be just a random uh, door, which uh, will most likely also be trapped. So, uh, what I do here is I just pick one of the uh, peripheral doors, like this one for example. I open it, and sometimes it'll spawn traps. I got lucky this time, so I got it from the first try. But uh, basically, if you just stay uh, on the uh, periphery here, you should only get hit once by a blade trap, and that can be survived, so... Just keep doing it until you get the horn to uh, pop in this uh, room here. Or the other one. Basically, I try to take out as many uh, nose here as uh, I possibly could with that many shots. Before you start going anywhere, uh, pull this lever. It'll lower a couple of ladders down, so if you fall off, uh, you it'll be easier for you to get back up here. Otherwise, you might get stuck somewhere, or you're gonna have to like run all the way back. The Soul Howlers will spam Comet Falls, the Elementalists really like Sleet Storm. The Sleet Storm is particularly nasty because it can, uh, you can slide right off and back into the maze. So if you have uh, an item with immunity to slippery surfaces or access to freedom of movement, that would be great to use here.
Now, a lot of people set the puzzle wheels to H, however, that's not necessary. It can only be used uh, if you failed the first time. However, right now all the wheels are set in a position where uh, this, this position here is 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So basically you can uh, figure out the sequence that way without setting the wheels to H. This is uh, the uh, H room, by the way, that I'm referring to. Anyway, when you pull the lever, you'll see how many times you have to rotate each wheel. And you have to do it in a certain uh, window of uh, time. So let's see what we get. Looks like blue one, red four, green five. Here we go. A loud gear grinds in the southeast corner of the room. The path forward is open. You probably noticed that I'm not casting displacement on my soul. The uh, reason behind this is because it obscures sight in the next part, which is the swim. Don't forget to open this gate, uh, it'll save you some running on the way back. This is the infamous swim. If you have evasion, that gives you some leeway, otherwise you're going to have to be very careful when you do it. Swim, a swimming item helps a lot as well. Uh, get your reflex buffed up as high as possible. And like I said, displacement blur, they will uh, be extremely bright underwater, so try not to have them on. Now, if you stick to the uh, the floor here, you shouldn't get hit in the first part. This valve opens the. Uh, the way to the uh, chest. It's safe to go through the uh, propellers when there's no bubbles or uh, when there's no uh, current pushing you away. Even though they're still spinning, uh, they won't actually hit you. Pile of is by This gold key is the key for that uh, underwater chest. However, it only drops the uh, named uh, uh, Diamond of Vitality on uh, heroic difficulties, not epic. So I'll just keep it.
something else I forgot to mention. Uh, stone skin or any kind of DR will also help against the spikes because they do physical damage. So the damage will be lowered by uh, the DR that you have. Make sure you kill these scouts first. They uh, tend to spawn mobs and sometimes even respawn uh, mobs if you don't take them out before you take care of the uh, groups, the larger group. They will summon more. Again, go for the scouts first. Use the cobalt to go through to the other side. This is the end fight. Feel free to go through first and then buff. There's a lot of talking here, so you have time. Now if you recall, I failed one of the uh, diplomacy checks in the beginning. If I had succeeded, Harza, the spellcaster, wouldn't be here. So um, I would only have to fight Vral, Gorn, and Daggertooth. However, he is here, so uh, he's actually your first target. I normally leave the archer for last.
Don't forget to pick up their keys. They open the uh, end chests. There's three of them. Talking to the giant will end the quest. That's it. Thank you for watching.